بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules In this session we will be studying the fifth lesson of Quran Qaid um, al-Nuraniya That's page 11 oh, And this from here to uh, here So the first, three, uh, first nine syllables This is just a reminder for transliteration purposes Okay, so from here to there, we will just um, read it out without an explanation um, because it's going to be too advanced for this level. Ad-Darsul Ad-Darsul Khamis Khamis Ad-Darsul Khamis Ad-Darsul Khamis Ad-Darsul means lesson, Khamis means, Khamis means fifth. So this is the fifth lesson. أو في القاعدة النورانية الحروف الحروف منونة منونة الحروف المنونة الحروف المنونة حروف means letters منونة means تنوين تنوين so letters with تنوين so what is تنوين Tanwini is basically a doubling of a vowel. Explain it here. So if you see here, that's Fatha. And when we double Fatha, that will become Fathatain. We have Kasra. When we double it, that will become Kasratain. And we have Bumma. When we double it, that will be Bummatain. That's uh, Three way of writing, so all the same, all mean the same. So that's fatha, fathatain, kasra, kasratain, dhamma, dhammatain. So fathatain is always written above the letter, kasratain below the letter, and dhammatain above the letter. So at tanween, that's um, at tanween, that's the for that's the transliteration line, that's the meaning. And that's for the transliteration. So that's Fathatain. Fathatain is always just a recap. Fathatain is always written above the mm, letter. Kasratain always below the letter. And Dhammatain always above the letter. Some of you might have learned from other languages and they call it Do Zabr, Do Zer, and Do Pesh. So that is fine. The names. Uh, to call them is fine as long as you correct you correct, produce the correct sound then um, there shouldn't be any problem but it's it's still good to learn uh, it's their names in arabic as well okay so the first one if you see mim fatha mim fatha ten man and the alif is ignored so you see all of them whenever there is fatha ten on a letter uh, it has uh, alif with it, but that's ignored. We don't say it. That's why I've done here. Look, mim fathatain man. So I haven't put alif here. So it was only mim fathatain man. And what uh, the fathatain does is it adds. So this is mim. M is for mim, and it adds the sound n to it. If it's fathatain, it adds the sound n to it. So mim fathatain man. Mim fathatain man. Mim fathatain man. If you go to the next one, mim kasratain min. So in this case, the kasratain uh, adds the sound of in. So that's mim, m for mim, and in is for kasratain. Mim kasratain min. Mim kasratain min. If we go to the third one here, Mim dhammatain mun. So the mun, this is actually the sound of this u and un. It adds to the mim. So mim, mim dhammatain mun. Mim dhammatain mun. Mim dhammatain mun. Man, min, mun. Man, min, mun. Just to recap, for fathatain, we add an sound. 
to the letter. For kasratain, we, we add in sound. And for dhummatain, we, we add on sound. Men, min, mun. And rika for that is whenever a letter has fathatain, it has alif, but that alif is uh, silent. So the next one is ba. Can you see here? It's ba, the alif is silent here again. Ba fathatain ban, that's how it is pronounced. Ba fathatain ban. Ba kasratain bin. Ba kasratain bin. Ba dhummatain bun. Ba dhummatain bun. Ban. Bin. Bun. Ban. Bin. Bun. The third set of um, syllables are for wow. So that's wow fatha, wow fathatain, and the alif is silent again. Wow fathatain one, wow fathatain one, wow kasratain win, wow kasratain win, wow dhammatain won, wow dhammatain won, win, win. Won, when, win, won. So the next three slides would be a sounds only with, without any spelling, spellings. Men, min, moon. Men, min, moon. Ben, bin, bun. Ben, bin, bun. When, win, won. When, win, won. So this is the end of this session. Uh, in next session, we will practice those nine syllables ten times without explanation, just to give you inner practice. We will see you in next session, inshallah. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.